Okay, so these are the mysterious bowls of Abu Ghraib. And these are, as much as anything, what invites attention here because there's a lot of esoteric ideas of what these could be. There's no uh, uh, consensus among Egyptologists or even among alternative people what these are. There's a lot of speculation. Probably the most common one is they, they're a sacrificial uh, item of some sort. But the, the reason why I don't think that, this is, if this is the only drain hole here, you'd be filled up with blood. You're, you're not going to easily lift this thing up and tip the blood out, so, and you're probably not going to scoop it out. So I don't think that the that the sacrificial bowl idea really bears any fruit because, again, you've just got the one drain hole here, but that would only dra drain blood up to here. What do you do with all the stuff that comes down here? So uh, Bob Criley, the engineer that works with AIP, we were doing light studies about the, the power of light that could be reflected when the Great Pyramid was uh, polished limestone casing stones. It was like a diamond that was shining, and the, the amount of reflection that you could get from the sun was really incredible. And the thing about, you know, people say, well, they, the Egyptians couldn't have cut stone. I used to work for stonemasons. I worked for a guy named Henry Fowler, who's related to the House of Fowler, which is in England. And he had built uh, some universities with stone uh, in Manchester and other places. So he had come from a tradition of families that worked with stone. And he told me how they could, you, could, you can really work in, with some big stones by heating them, and they're easy to break and cut. So I'm sure the Egyptians knew that, that stones, granite uh, and limestone, if heated, uh, could be worked with uh, much better. So Bob Crowley figured out the amount that the B Great Pyramid could have generated from, from being reflected. And then these could be set up to be reflectors and concentrate just the way kind of a con certain ovens, like solar ovens do. These could have had some kind of surface in them that reflected. And so they could beam it toward different granite blocks that they were working with by putting the heat from the sun off the Great Pyramid, reflected off this, could be an intense heat on the granite blocks and could make cutting really easy. Or much easier than it is, because again, that's an ancient stone cutting technique, is to put heat on rocks and they're much more malleable. So that's another theory, and that's the, the theory that AIP works with, because my engineer, Bob Crowley, was a consultant in NASA on heat shields. That's one of the things he did. And so he's an expert that could speak into this. I think the rest of us are just guessing. So, the mysterious bowls of Abu Ghraib at the Sun Temple of Nusera.